What is going on alpha hunters? Today's video we're going to cover the basics of the vertical order. How to set it up, why it's beneficial, my thoughts on the order. And then we'll switch over to the broker and look at some risk profiles of this vertical order. So as we continue on our journey to fill out this option strategy template, we are filling in the second row today. The vertical row. But as you can see here, there's actually numbers in here, okay? So how you want to be able to read the numbers and what they mean is how they how to set this order up, okay? Now this vertical order, you know, this under the call here, so these have names, right? But I'm not going to show you the names yet. We'll do that when we get to actual breaking down how to uh, the different order types, okay? But how you want to set up this order is you want to buy a lower call and sell a higher call okay that's how you read this okay so the lower call you will buy right so one relates to you're gonna buy this two relates to you're gonna sell a call okay so two two and then one one and two so you sell a call lower call here and then you buy a higher call I'm going to show you how to understand how to read this because it's going to be kind of important as we continue to go through option strategies and learning about the many different ones and just how they're real simple and easy and basic to understand once you understand the basics. So let's get into it, okay? So the vertical order. So there's four different kinds of vertical orders. There's two for the calls and two for the puts. So we got the bull call vertical, we got the bear call vertical, we got the bear put vertical and we got the bull put vertical. Now that is a lot to go over, but it's, it's not as complicated as it might sound. Okay. You got bull bear puts and calls. Yeah. Okay. It, maybe it's, maybe it's complicated. We should just give up and shouldn't learn. Right? No, we're going to power through and we're going to learn this. Dang it. So how we want to set up a bull call vertical is we want to buy the lower call we want to sell a higher call that is how you set up a bull call vertical and just like when you buy a call okay you still want the stock to go up and this is going to be a cash flow a debit out so you're going to pay money for it now for losses you're going to have limited losses here so you're limited to the max loss is anything below the lower strike and then you have incremental losses between the lower strike to break even. And then obviously the break even, you start to have profits as you continue to go higher. And then your profit is break even to the higher strike. And then anything above the higher strike, that is max profit. It cannot go any higher. Okay? Because when you set up a, a call, right? When you set up a, a buy call, like a long call, you start to make money. All right? And then when you get up to that sell call, then you cap off your gains. Okay? So think about it like this. If you have a call at $100 and you sell a call at $105 and the stock goes to $110, you can call away shares at $100 and somebody will call them away from you at $105. So that would be a $5 reward in that situation. Now, to get your actual reward, you would need to extract out how much it costs for you to get into that trade. And if it costs $3, then you would actually net profit the $2, okay? So we'll look a little bit more on that when we get into the broker, but I just wanna give you a quick example. So we got a bear call vertical. Now, not much different than the bull call vertical. You're gonna have limited gains. You're gonna have limited losses, but how you wanna set this up is you wanna sell the lower strike call and then buy the higher strike call. That's how you set this up. And you're just looking for the stock to either go down or just sideways, and you just kind of collect the cash or the premium. So your loss is the higher strike to the break even, and then your gain is the break even to the lower strike. Now, for the call side, right? Now, the call side, the, your break even is gonna be the lower strike plus the premium. So for puts, we wanna do a bare put vertical. How we want to set that up is we would buy the higher put and we would sell a lower put. So buy, buy a higher strike put and sell a lower strike put. Okay, and we're looking for the stock to go down and then this, this would be a debit. We would be paying cash out. Okay, so the higher strike to break even, we would have losses 
And then the break-even point for the put side would actually be higher strike minus the net premium. Okay, and then below the break even to the lower strike, that would be profit. And then anything below the lower strike, that would be max profit. Now for a bull put vertical, you would sell a higher put, you would buy a lower put, and you're looking for the stock to be up or sideways. You take a credit in, you take cash in. Your losses are the lower strike to break even. You know, again, your break even is your higher strike minus your net premium. And then your profit is your break even to the higher strike with your max reward being above that higher strike. So here's some of my thoughts on the vertical order. One, it's a simple order and it is great for beginners. I mean, it is fantastic. I use this strategy all the time. It is phenomenal. You have limited reward with less stock move for the reward. I mean, that's fantastic. I don't need as much stock movement and I get my reward, okay? It is the limited reward, I get that, It's and that's okay, that's actually not a bad thing. But the cost of the trade compared to just a single order is much less. I mean much less, it's like a fraction. So these vertical orders really allow you, especially for small account traders, this could be your biggest benefit to building and growing a larger account, okay? Because it is expensive to buy options, but if you know how to use uh, option strategies, you can get into trades for much cheaper than just buying options outright. And you can still participate in directional trends. Now, when you sell verticals, these are really good for cash flows. Uh, just like when you sell options, uh, like when you just sell calls and puts, you know, it's really good for cash flow. Now, buying call verticals, are great with bullish trends. And I have an excellent strategy that I like to use uh, on the SPY. And, but any kind of like bullish trending stock that's very predictable, call verticals are a gold mine. Just gonna say that. Just just understand what you're you're doing, understand your, your thesis, your plans. So let me switch over to the broker and we'll show some examples of what these risk profiles look like. So, okay, we are here in the broker and we are going to look at some risk profiles on some of these options, uh, some of these verticals that we were just talking about. But real quick, if you do like this content and you like the risk profiles I'm gonna show off, please give me a like and let me know if it's working for you. Let me know if it's helping you understand the strategies. Uh, and give me a comment of what's not clear, or what is clear, what I'm doing really good at, and I'll help kind of steer more in that direction. All right, let's get right into it. So we're gonna buy set up a buy order right on a call vertical we'll do the 465 and we will buy this one we're going to send this over to the analyze trade oh this is left over from earlier so we'll get rid of that but we need one more order and i'm going to go one strike above it right so we did the 465 now i'm going to bring in this 466 and we are going to send that over to analyze. Okay, so here in the risk profile for Thinkorswim, this allows us to see very clearly how a profile uh, risk reward setup for an option strategy kind of works. And it lets us get a realistic picture of what we need from the stock or the stock price to do for us to get our reward okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this cell okay and what I want you to notice okay when we're looking at this bull uh, bull call vertical is the break even at expiration is all the way up here at 469 41 42 something like that it should be 42 yeah, it should be 40, 469, 42, yeah, because you add the 465 plus the 442, should be 469, 42. I just can't get right on that 42. So, all right, whatever. It's fine. It's close enough. So that's the break even, right? It's 469, 42. Let's turn this on, this, this cell, and you'll notice the break even comes all the way down to 465, 56 it dropped by 
basically four points. And what it dropped by was actually this 387, right? Because since we are buying a call and then selling a call to open a position, this is a net credit, uh, I'm sorry, a net debit position. It's not a net credit, it is a net debit position. You are going to pay for this position, right? So you're gonna pay 442, but you're gonna subtract out the 387, and I can't even think off the top of my head, but that is, what, 55 cents? So 55 cents, all right, what was it? Yeah, 55 cents. So, so 55 cents would be your net debit on this trade. Okay, so you saw how much lower your break even by expiration got reduced. It got reduced by a lot. And that is huge when we're talking about profitability, consistently profitable. And something I'll, I'll mention, I'm gonna make another whole video about this, but one of the best things I'm gonna tell you, especially for new traders, the most valuable thing that you can learn is if you limit your upside or you limit your max gains and, and focus on consistent gains, you will be profitable in trading. You will be profitable in trading, okay? So that is how you set up this strategy, right? And, and you know, we still make money as the stock goes up. It's just that when we get to expiration, anything above 466, right, where we have that upper call, well, we've, we've sold that 466 call, so we have capped off our gains to the upside. Okay, but we we make all of our all of our value between 465 to 466, and obviously we want to be definitely above the 465, 55, I believe strike or uh, price level. Everything anything above that is profit, and it it's honestly it's advantageous if we can have the strike, uh, the or the stock up into the, like the four. 68 you want it a little bit above these strikes that way you you're not having really an issue right so when i roll this forward in time so we're looking at the jan 3 strike uh expiration period so when as i roll this forward in time watch what the risk profile does right so it kind of collapses at like an s t curve type way so if we are below this break even, that is theta hurting our position. Okay, theta is coming down. But as we get above that, theta is what helps us and gets us to our max profit. Okay, so I'm going to come all the way back. But you notice another thing is I'm going to switch just to the call real quick and just the single call. So we got this on. And you notice how I, if, as I roll it forward, you see how this risk profile, it's just dropping, 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 dropping. That is another thing that is great about the vertical that you don't really get, that you don't really have an issue with, you don't really have this issue with the vertical that like you do the, the just a single position, right? So theta doesn't just kill your position because you actually have two options here you have one that you own and one that you sold and now there is a theta there's a theta hedge in here okay so you have one where your your theta exposed and you have one where you're actually theta hedged a little bit okay and we'll talk a little bit more about hedging uh the greeks in future videos but but that is one aspect of this strategy that is very good it's great for beginners it's a good beginner strategy so yeah now i'm going to switch these two we're going to say instead of this 465 i'm going to say sell and then i'm right so we got a 465 call that i sold and a 466 call that i bought okay now we'll leave the prices the same that's fine but you'll notice the risk profile has switched, right? It's just it just flipped on its on its zero axis, and now our profit is less than the break even, all the way to the lower strike, 
at 465 and then below that it's capped right so this is really good for stocks that are kind of range bound they're not moving that well they're not really uptrending that much or you're selling higher than what their uptrend is but and that's great but if but if you do this on a stock that really kind of explodes higher obviously you you'll lose value anything above the break even to the higher strike but the great thing is if it ha if, if the stock does explode higher your gains or your losses in this point they're they're capped right you don't you don't continue to lose value okay so that is another thing that is really fantastic so I'm gonna switch all these over to puts and take this one to 456 and I'll take the the bought one I'm gonna take this one to 457 okay okay so the price is updated <clears throat> that's what that was um so since we have now set this up so we are we have buying a put at 457 and we are selling a put at 456 this is a bear put vertical spread okay so this is what a bear put vertical spread looks like so you have the break even right here where the teal line and the zero inter uh, mix um, interact and the break even should be 37 cents below the highest uh, strike, below the highest strike. So 457. So 37 cents below the 457 should get us to 463, and that's pretty much right there. Okay. So that is how this will look. All right. We we make money above the break even, up to 456. That is where our cap is. We lose money below the break even, all the way to 457, and then our losses are capped. Okay. Now the cool thing about these strategies compared to the single order, uh, especially when you're buying them, right, is I mean, how much cost, right? Because your max loss, if you buy this option, if you buy this 457, I turned off the, the sell, right? And so it's looking just like a regular put option that we would buy. So how much you lose here is four. So on the left side, so watch the number that pops up right here. So it's negative 439. And that is the cost of the trade is four five hundred five thirty nine, 539, right? I don't know if I said 439. If I did, I don't think that's my mistake. But it's 539, right? So that's our loss. But the cool thing about selling, uh, selling and capping, capping it off is actually our cost is much lower. It's only 37 cents, or or 37 dollars, 37 cents per share, but it's still 37 dollars, right? So that's, I mean, that is hugely beneficial. So you can start getting into trading, you know, for uh, definitely under 100 bucks. You know, you just got to be careful on uh, what you're doing this on. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'd be very selective. If you're, if you're in that kind of um, value with your account, you want to be very selective of what you're trying to do. And, but you can make it work. You know, you can make it work. Now let's, now let's go ahead and flip these. Okay. So let's flip these and we'll say we'll sell now the higher, the higher put, right. And we'll buy the lower put. So the break is going to stay the same in this instance. Should be at 456, 63 ish. Yeah, okay. So what we are looking for when we do this kind of a strategy is just a stock to kind of stay up sideways, you know, not to cut, not to come down. We just don't want the stock to come down. And and so we have a break even here, and anything above that break even is an incremental loss up to the 457 strike, which is the higher strike in this example, up to your higher strike and then your losses, and then your gains are capped, right? So anything, any, if the stock ended anywhere above 457, that would be our max gain. Now we lose money 
as the stock drops from break even down to 456 in this example or the lower strike and then our losses are capped okay so that's either way you know that's not it's not a bad situation these are this is such a good strategy oh my god this is such a good strategy this is a phenomenal strategy it allows you to have uh, kind of like a protected position to kind of allow you to see if the stock is moving in your favor or not. Um, you're not <sighs> succumb to theta as as heavily as um, just buying a call or a put outright. So these are great, and it's a very low cost way to kind of get into trading. So you can definitely do this. Okay. Alrighty. Take care, Alpha Hunters.